Hey, Christian. Yeah, let's switch to that and have a look. And here we have it, the Himmelsdorf, which is only open field in the middle and a little bit on the right side. But other than that, it's city all over and train tracks on the left side with a little bit of cover behind the train tracks. But you can still be shot underneath the train tracks. But I'm not really thinking about seeing any artillery shooting under any trains. But still, um, yeah, but um, right here we've seen... We've seen a lot of players um, or teams using their scouts at the open areas. So, how are we going to see some scouts uh, running around the middle just to to uh, to scout the uh, the uh, the outer uh, area of the of the middle, or are we going to see people going over the the hill and trying to flank? And the possibilities are endless on this map because there's so many streets and. You can't cover everything. You really can't. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm really thinking that maybe we're going to see some switch rounds. The SU-26 might not be the right choice. They're going to go for tanks that are better suited for close combat, for direct firing, TD-style uh, artillery. Which tanks? Is, if we have a look at the tanks, which tanks are more suited to this map? We'll come back to him with stuff in a minute, guys. Don't worry about that. But let's have a look at the artillery choices we can make to maybe suit the map more. Oh, yeah, let's look again. Um, well, I would actually prefer if um, if I was on a team uh, that a uh, few bisons was brought because of that long view range. Because if you just place a bison at a corner, you can look down the entire alley instead of just being able to see halfway. So uh, bisons definitely, uh, if you if you think about it. Uh, and other than that. I would really, really love to see some French premium tanks because of their armor and their. We're just gonna drive forward and take some hits and then fire, uh, close range. So I'm, I'm, I'm really ex excited for this one because I re actually only because I hope to see some French premium tanks. Yeah, I, I honestly think that's the best tank. I honestly think that that French premium, if it turns up, is gonna make a huge difference in Himmelstorf. A huge difference. I really want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see it. Come on, guys. Someone pick it. You know you want to. 60 armor. What can go wrong? What can go wrong? <laughs> yeah, we've definitely seen the, uh, the survivability of, uh, of a lot um, thicker armor on the... Even though it's only tier 2, the T57, it's been surviving a lot of hits, direct hits even, and... It's just crazy. It just boggles my mind to see a tier two survive a direct hit from artillery, even though mm. it's it's been tier three. It's just yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's really impressive. The 30 armor is really helping. So the 60 armor surely is going to be amazing. It's got the most HP and the thickest armor. I'm really surprised we haven't seen more of them so far. But I, I really, really expect to see it in the finals, especially. Especially because it's Himmelsdorf. I mean, come on, what better map for an RC final? Again, uh, if we think about Himmelsdorf as a city map, yes, let's go back to Himmelsdorf. We, yeah, that's, then we we go back to the the first thing that I mentioned about the SU twenty six. If you reverse out from cover, you can have a very very good um, uh, spotting tank because. You you don't show the entire tanks uh, of it's the, it's the only tank with a with a turret to start and except for the the bad chat only French tier eight but uh, it's not allowed um, but the the turret just allows it to um, to peek out around corners if they reverse but I I haven't seen any of that at all but of course the maps have been very open so there's been no need for the uh, the peekaboo strategy so so right now I'm I'm looking forward to seeing some some more uh, careful spotting instead of just throwing your entire tank uh, uh, artillery uh, into the fray and just hoping to spot and then being able to reverse fast enough. We have nine minutes until the next battle and we've just been told that it's not 1st Battalion, it's Remdes Victation Vic Victicators v Battalion from the 1st Battalion. So they're 1st Battalion but they're not 1st Battalion, if you get okay. it. <laughs> so they're that. first battalion first they're not first battalion first battalion but they're first battalion rvb yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're first battalion guys as far as i'm concerned that makes them a subdivision of uh first battalion but they're not the 
the absolute front team or something. Uh, High Flyer, are you in the next battle? You are indeed I fantastic. Am. Let's see the teams forming. Eight minutes to go, and I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Come on, move. Timer, move, move. 15. Well, considering the whole team isn't there yet, we're going to have to find something else to look at. So let's have a look at the final way the brackets look at the end of the day. We have got... Switching over to it. Um, USSR versus VWR, otherwise known as a 1st Battalion squad. I should have realized it now looking at the logo. Um, the semi-finals we had the USSR versus BIA in some amazingly close games. Chinese obviously put up a great fight because it went 3 uh, sorry, 2-1 there also. OM Whitebeard versus BVM, I've been told, is some of the best battles they've ever had. Also went 2-1. Chinese versus Monster Gamer was a 2-0-1 that you managed to win. BIA took it soundly from BDB, and USSR beat soundly OMV. So it's been an exciting bracket. We're going to hopefully hear the results from the playoffs from the um, uh, uh, losers bracket, Chinese and BIA. So that hopefully will be an amazing battle for them as well. But unfortunately, for you guys, you won't be able to see it because we're going to be watching USSR versus BWR, the first battalion. Yeah, it's going to be a great, great battle. We've seen great tactics from both of these teams, actually. And it's, yeah, it's it's really, uh, I'm really looking forward to this match because, mostly because it's a totally different map. The, the Himmelstorf map, it's, every every other map we played, there they've been open uh, fields and, here we have the middle, but why would you go to the middle if you're an artillery and, and need to survive longer than just, oh, I'm a scout and dead. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the, maybe the, the careful approach to this map, but again, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to it because the USSR team had really great uh, tactics for both sides of the map. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I've just been told that you are actually right about the max per team, two teams per employee, uh, sorry, two employees per team. You yes. are actually right. Yes. So, in other words, in other words, out of the seven of your team, only two, max two, can be employed by Wargaming. Not yes. two extra, only two of the employees could be employed. So you were right, sort of. Misreading like a boss. <laughs> this really <laughs> like a boss. I've been told to call them the first Polish armored division. Okay, that I will. That I will. I can't pronounce your name either. Can you pronounce Polish? Polish? P O L I S. <laughs> Polish? <laughs> pronounce it? No, pronounce Polish words, my friend. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I can pronounce Polish. So. <laughs> Right, anyway, yeah, his name is C-Z-O-L-G-I-S-H-A-F-A-J-N-E. Whatever. Yeah. You, you <laughs> Mr. Mr. Uh, I know what they're called. Thank you very much. First Polish yeah. armor division is very easy to say. First Thank Polish you very much, division. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the map. Let's get some strategies down that we expect to see. Um, I'm personally expecting a lot of TD action, but there are quite a few open areas on Hill stuff. I just don't expect them to be used. I really don't. No, I don't either. Um, it's going to be, well, actually a little bit like random battles because you don't just push through. Uh, except for me, uh, uh, you play it a little bit cautious because you have this much cover and if if you get spun by the enemy then you have cover right next to you so reverse back to it and um, you should be safe but in this artillery battle you have to expose your entire tank to to get a good shot so that's going to change the battlefield a lot because except for the SU-26 there's not any other tanks that could just peek out and fire and then retreat even mm. though it's going to be a low accuracy shot it's still a shot so better than nothing but again um, do you have any <laughs> tactics that might show up because I'm actually at a loss here for the first time um, yeah 
Yeah, sorry, I had to move us into the team. Apparently, we had control. Me too. And I, I actually don't know what to expect. I'm not going to give any predictions, and we're just going to play this by eye. Uh, we cannot. We cannot even hope to guess what's going through their minds right now. So I'm not even going to try. But what we can tell you about is the other tournaments. We've been told that there are tournaments run every month. You guys can get involved with. So go and check them out at uh, World of uh, uh, World of Tanks EU. Click on tournaments, and they will be listed there. What's the next one, High Flyer? The next one is the Mangled Metal um, tournament, and it's on the 22nd of September, so not far away. Uh, but you should still sign up already now just to get into the bracket. Yeah, there's no, absolutely nothing to lose and lots of gold to win. So get in, you're going to get better at the time. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Woo. I just can't wait. I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. Two minutes, 30 to go. Two minutes, 30 to go. And I'm really, really expecting lots of the French artillery. I really am. I'm expecting the big gold French, but I bet I'm not going to see it. Yeah, no. no, no. We can hope on the enemy team, but um, so far, no luck at all. It doesn't. Maybe they didn't buy it, but again, yeah, buying a tank solely for a tournament... Hmm. It might not be a good tank, and the matchmaking might be bad, but I have no idea, actually. But it would be really suited for this tournament. Totally. I can't imagine why it's a bad tank. Everyone I know who has one loves it. It's an amazing little artillery. It's just very quirky on the basis that it's got lots of armor. I've seen one and really struggle to take it out in my scouts because, wow, just what armor. Anyway, we're going to have another set of SG-26. Uh, grill, uh, M37s. And the AMX 105 AMs. So it's again the most common artillery choices we see. And at the start, I was very curious to see whether the SU 26 was going to be chosen at all because the turret was the big selling point. And yeah. clearly, it is the most or one of the most popular tanks, second to probably the AMX and third the Grill. Very interesting to see. Yeah. It's actually, yeah, I also thought that uh, they might not be picking that tank because of the, yeah, the, uh, I've, I've played the tank, but um, I never really got into the groove of it, but um, it's a very, very popular choice, and it might be because of that turret, and you can quickly turn around, because if you have a turret, uh, the artillery, um, when you have to aim, you have to be perfectly still. You can press X to get set in a position, and it's locked. Uh, then you have to aim, and it takes almost forever for some uh, artillery tanks. Um, and but with this uh, turreted artillery tank, you can you can swirl around the map and not lose very much accuracy and be really f uh, quick at the, at the, at firing at some enemies that's, that has just been spotted. So a very good choice on an open field map. But again, we have Himmelsdorf, and I'm. I'm really curious to see how they're going to use it right here. We have 15 seconds left, so let's switch back to into, into game. And I'll just tell you that we've got an eight minutes uh, delay on the stream, so there's no cheating, no peeking, and there's no one who can see these setups. So, guys and girls, get ready for the best out of five finals. We have the first Polish armored division versus USSR. This is going to be an exciting final. I can't wait to see what happens. Start screaming for your favorite team. Are we seeing the first Polish armored division or USSR? Who's going to win? Ooh, we see a different lineup for USSR. They're missing someone. Yeah. Aren't they? That's mi yeah, then. Oh, well, maybe they. I don't remember seeing the grill. Oh, I see the grill. Uh, no, that's actually. They've got it in a different same. order. It's, <laughs> They've yeah, got it more just, organized. All it's the just SC26 a... <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> it's a new team. It's a new Wait, team. Wait, it's not. Uh, I'm just going to shoot you in, but... Uh, let me get it into the side. I don't want to give my tank to be a cover for the enemy team. I was Ooh, actually pointing that out. They go, oh, on this map, is it actually, your death could be important. So, for the sake of fairness, guys, I'm going to get myself in to make sure. Yeah. I'm just gonna drive down behind the church and just, yeah, try and die, die down there. Because again, oh, okay, I have just been killed. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, they just uh, <laughs> created cover for oh my the, God. the enemy. So, 
Let's um, um yeah. okay. Okay, this I'm has going been a hell of a start. I, I don't know. Uh, Hi, Flower. Continue going. We've had massive bombardment going on here because they were shooting at the start. They've actually charged forward. Uh, yeah. Den has gone forward with the USSR team and have run forward and attacked and found and killed one of the uh, one Polish armor division guys. That's absolutely crazy sort of start. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect this to have happened so early. No, but uh, yeah, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, but uh, it is again. If you we just watched a uh, USSR uh, battle, and this is exactly what Den did in the other batch. Uh, but he died in that one. He's uh, he's damaged, so he he could have been killed, but he is only just damaged. And actually, oh, he, okay, he's not damaged at all. I've seen another tank then. This is um, actually really unfortunate because of the. Um, player who knocked out there we go thank god okay den managed to take me out but i was really worried there because of the fluff up from uh the conflict right at the start with himmeldorf being so slow that caused a massive conflict anyway let's get off that uh, we yeah. have an exciting match for you here today we have den of ussr which we followed in the last game pushing forward and harassing the front line of one packs uh paddocks the first polish armored division what do you gonna? What do you think they're gonna do to recover from this absolute crazy start? I can only assume they're really unorganized. Yeah, right now they really look like they're in a total uh, defensive position, but they're moving out right now actually because the uh, the M37 just moved away, and um, but they went into a total de defensive position behind the uh, houses down on the left bottom, and um, but right now they're still. He's still around then, and he's still harassing by spotting them, so I don't know if they're going to attempt to try... Oh, there's some action up top. Oh, oh that was a nice shot, actually. The grill just took out the SU-26, and oh... But the scout was taken out in, in, in exchange for that. The SU-26 is still lit up. The Araconda is there. Will any returning fire happen? I don't think so because there's too many USSRs very close to the front line. So they're keeping their heads down. There was no one available to give that counter-strike. Yeah, and wasting a shot would uh, tell the uh, opponent that they could have a free shot at you. So they should just charge out. So not going out to fire another shot was a very wise decision, actually. Especially with them just harassing them still. He's going back and forth, back and forth, and he's just waiting on them to peek around and, and take Make the bait. Mistake. Yeah. Yeah, there must be there must bait. be someone covering Den right now. He seems very confident for a man in an artillery oh, unit. Here he goes. Yeah. The trap must be sprung. Oh, yeah. Den managed to take out Festalus and then takes out himself from Remdeer. Is there actually anybody? Was it a bluff? It looks like it was a bluff. Kovatar's coming around and he managed Oh Saint Leo gets him. Kovatar takes a shot right over his head, but he survives. He's running on the steam on the speed of the French artillery. He's been tracked, though. We can't move. Something's gone wrong there. Uh, he's, he's an eyed. He, they lost sight of him, but he's still there. He's trying to run. The grill's going around the corner. Is he? Is he not? Is he? Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's redecided. He re Whoa, Kovatar's really lucky there. Yeah. And it was a great decision by Francis. And um, because, as we saw, you asked the question if it was a bluff, but merely seconds later the artillery was raining down and killing the the surviving um, surviving player for one pad um, or first Poland's division um, and yeah right now the, the grill is just running away because he is swarmed and something amazing really has to happen for him to yeah, to turn this around, but it could happen. It could happen. It's artillery, and they could they can one shot each other. So, okay, one shot, nearly a one shot, <laughs> but they can one shot each other. And oh, okay, this was a very very uh, was a quick game because it was a quick that, game. Yeah, that first rush was it was really effective, even if I got killed. Um, and, yeah, I'm um, not sure what happened there, and I'm, I'm going to try and communicate with the team to hopefully that happens again. Um, uh, actually, I was killed for, by the enemy team, so... You were killed by the enemy team, so yeah. I think the first thing to do is to drive away. Yep, yep, and, yep. Um, Just get close to a building yeah. or... 
drive away first. <clears throat> anyway, that's enough of that. That was a, a bit of a letdown on our first game. Uh, it was a bit confusing. We're, we apologize for that in advance. Uh, sorry, in advance, after the fact. Uh, we apologize for that. We will make sure that doesn't happen again. But in other news, game two. 1 0 to USSR. Fantastic claim by them. They swarmed into the cap circle from first Polish armor division and they were just. Uh, taken by surprise. They were taken out of position, out of surprise, and ripped apart. I didn't think much, there was much they could do. They didn't have time to react. No, it was too overwhelming. They they had no chance of um, even the even us. We weren't even die, dead, and and the enemy was just barging in and and just firing and killing off uh, a teammate very early. So there, it was a very very confusing start. And let's see if uh, they learn from it. Um, because all the other um, allies were on the um, first Polish division uh, was uh, were um, were moving, but uh, this guy was 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 still in base and, um, and of course got taken out. Yeah, yeah, it was very confusing. It it was it was a bit of a messy start from um, everybody on the uh, Polish division uh, team. I don't believe I think they they were sat still thinking they had a few seconds. They they were like well, okay guys we should do this this and this. I think they were still talking. I really do think they were still talking about what they were doing when all of a sudden everyone started exploding. They lost two artillery units before the game even started. Basically, uh, it was it was crazy and and a light tank. <laughs> yeah. Oh. They actually got more kills than possible. <laughs> so yeah. that was quite funny. Um, yeah, but again, um, they, let's see if they learn from it. Because yeah, if they expect the, um, I would also, I would, I would expect the USSR team and the leader then to maybe change it up a little bit. Um, mm. Even though this worked very, very, very well in in their favor. Um, changing it up a little bit could mean uh, a much easier victory because this team could be just uh, expecting it and all sitting around one corner and just waiting for that scout to come and if the yeah. scout don't come they waste time and if they waste time they let the enemy get into position much yeah, easier without I totally, any pressure. I totally agree. I, I do believe that they might not do the harassing tactic this time because uh, one, uh, sorry, the first Polish armor division might decide to play very defensive and wait for it to happen. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how both teams adjust. But in the meantime, we should tell you about what is going on. We are in the finals of the Fun Cup. Artillery only, tier four and below. We won't go through the rules because if you've just started tuning, you're a bit late. However, just know it's artillery only, low tier. What we are going to tell you, though, is what's happening in the not-so-distant future. We have which tournament coming up, High Flyer? The Mangled Medal, which is coming up at the 22nd of September. So, and the... Um, you can already sign up, so go do that. You have nothing to lose, only gold to win. Lots of it. And I, I, I really can't wait to see that one myself because people are, uh, there's got to hopefully be lots and lots of teams with so many different strategies, just like today, proving that a few quirky limitations can produce such different World of Tanks. And it's, it's I think, a really good plus about World of Tanks. Every, every tournament with these sort of rules, totally different. It has certainly been fun. Yeah, it it really has. It's uh, it's taken me by surprise completely because when you think about it, only going artillery, um, they're slow, most of them, and uh, you can't just take uh, a team of only f uh, fast artilleries. Or you could, but we haven't seen that at all. Actually, we've only seen a maximum of two very fast um, tier one tanks. So that's not the preferred strategy here um, but instead we've seen very 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 um, deep strategies of sitting in different uh, positions around the map being able to hit all over the map and yeah it's 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 actually been amazing to watch this and I've learned something I've learned a lot just watching this I think everyone watching has learned a lot not only has it been fun entertaining exciting every other word you want to list but also very informative of how to use artillery, although this situation is rare to come up, it's incredible.